Hello anyone who is watching now later on YouTube, Helene here along with Rakir And welcome to Something Sunday where I show off one to four games that may or may not get a stream later uh, or get streamed more later. And yeah, back to the alphabetical order. Uh, after well the fiasco with hydrophobia. Yeah. You should probably try and repress that memory. <laughs> Yeah, and the first game we have today is DARK in all capitals. <laughs> uh, it's a it's a stealth game that has mixed reviews on the uh, on the Steam store, but yeah, some of the other we'll have to see if it actually is any good or not. Uh, Hydrophobia also had mixed reviews, I think. <laughs> so yeah, it's. No. It's neither a flattery nor a full-on condemnation, but it leans more towards uh, this might not be good. Yeah, then again, there's also a problem that sometimes you have a rough start, you might not be able to get away with a mixed review of a while. Yeah. Like, Ark used to have mixed review. It's only recent years they're finally on, yeah, good reviews on both parts. Yeah, it's a <clears throat> Arc is a bit of a niche thing, and well, the developers have been complete idiots with some things, like the whole uh, Scorched Earth fiasco. Basically, what yeah. was the case with that is that um, the game was still in early access, I think. It was. Uh, yeah. So you think that any? <laughs> so you'd think that any? Well, hold on a second. Why is my chat here? You think that any money that goes to it would go solely to the development of the game itself and not to any DLC? And where the hell is the chat? It yeah, seems to be missing for like some reason. Why make a DLC while the game is still early access? I feel like, no, you should not do that. But yeah. I hope they have learned from every mistake they've done. Uh, I hope they have learned from it, from the response to that. Uh, we should not do that. And some modders are working for them that's hopefully trying to make sure they don't do anything worse yeah to try and keep them from stupidity but enough talk yeah. about arc let's start this game finally okay auto yeah. saves got curious but yeah hopefully it's just like this i maybe have a mixed review for i awoke to a world of pain a throbbing in my head pounded on my temples Suddenly, I saw a white light approaching me. I saw a human form within that light. An angel. The shining light radiated something soothing. Eric. The angel spoke to me. Eric, it's time. The angel disappeared, and the hammering became more intense. Faster, slowly, my sight returned. A rhythm and different sounds, which slowly coalesced to become music. The darkness slowly gave way to blurry surroundings. I focused on regaining my orientation. All around me I could see people, bodies twitching, moving to the rhythm of the music. I felt sick, but at least I could move again. I needed to run some water over my head. That would do me good. The marker shows where to go. Oh, uh, that's a bit high on the sensitivity. Let's Don't do that. Me, he's what the heck? I think I saw you some red flag. Yeah, what is then? Uh, what? Save to left. Yeah, it could be a challenge thing. But yeah. The enemy could barely stand and the nausea was getting stronger. Gathering the last of my strength, I dragged myself on. Yeah, <laughs> going quite a bit on the edge part. Uh, yeah. Very yeah. to describe drunkness. I'd say the animation is already a negative if you have yeah, if you can't even have your character just turning around instead of just phasing into a different direction. That feels a bit weird in a game like this. 
Yeah, it is. It was a cheap game, so it could just be that, uh, yeah, limited budget and such. Let's save full judgment on thing, things really start to go down if they do. Yeah, as well, I mainly made it. Like, if there were only one person, yeah. Eric. No. Eric Bain. The name shot through my head like a bullet. It was my name, other memories. Nothing. The darkness in my head veiled everything. I get the feeling that he's been drugged with something. Yeah. The angel is gone. I think that you can so be drunk and high at the same time. Was, or what I was doing here. Chances were the bouncer had seen me come in. Maybe he could shed some light on the subject. Yeah, it's a pretty tiny umbrella. <laughs> like you, you could probably put that thing in a cocktail. Okay, yeah, now I see what you mean. There are small umbrellas that you can fold out the rod and all, but that one did not look like one of them. Wanted for a severe <laughs> case of games journalism? What? What the heck? Can... Wait, he looks Sh familiar. Shadow City Police, New Dark. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh... I hope that's a developer new. We don't need an audience. Yeah, that if you don't want an audience, don't go smooching near the freaking toilets. Get a room. Yeah. yeah. Or an alleyway. Yeah, an alleyway is usually a bad idea. Yeah. So far, I just. Hi. Yeah. Could it be what do you want? I wanted to ask. I couldn't get another word out. But, yeah. The sight of his weapon woke some kind of memory. Okay. Hey, hey, man, you okay? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I'm doing fine. Did I come to the club alone, or was someone with me? No idea. My shift had only just begun. My boss was watching the door before that. Where can I find him? Well, he's sure to be hanging around here somewhere. Ask at the bar for Tom. That flashback had felt pretty damn realistic, even if I didn't completely understand it. What should I make of it? I made my way back into the club to find the head of security. Maybe he would be able to help me. Okay, but <laughs> at least he was nicer than uh, your stereotypical bouncer tends to be. Yeah, and bouncers not supposed to be rude unless you really give them the reason to. Do. Yeah. And yeah, that's not everything I heard from other bouncers. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. What do you want? Okay. Um, yeah, the movement is a bit off with the lack of, well, <laughs> animation between... But, yeah, we'll, we'll let's just have to see. This is a stealth game, so... Oh. Hi. I'll have a... You'll have a Bloody Mary. House style. Who said I wanted a Bloody Mary? Believe me, I know exactly what you want. Do you know where Tom is? Tom? Yes, I do happen to know where Tom is. Head upstairs and you'll find him. Good luck. Okay, catch you later. Yes. See you later. Uh, okay. The stuff tasted disgusting. It had a strange aftertaste. However, my body saw it differently. And a pleasant warmth spread through me. Okay, what was with Miss uh, Serial Number along the arm? <laughs> I really want to voice actor. Okay. Um, the only thing, first question would be, did they blow all the money on the voice acting? Possible. That's something that some games do. Hey, man. You okay? Have we met? Not directly, but don't we all know one another somehow? I mean, we're practically one big family. I have no idea what you're talking about. Shit, man. You really don't know, do you? My memory is a bit foggy at the moment. <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Look, we can help you, man. I mean, I know someone who can. Follow me, dude. I'll take you to her. I'm sure she'll help you. Her name's Rose, and she knows more about that stuff than the rest of us. That stuff? Like a freaking ghoul <laughs> jumping us somehow? 
or at least memory of them. But yeah, as I was saying, this is supposed to be a stealth game, so having animation. Hey man, you were really lucky to meet me. There's some of us out there that are real bad news, dude. They would have just ripped your head off or something. Don't worry. We're almost there. By the way, Rose, she owns the sanctuary. This is screaming a lot of vampire to me, but in, in stealth games, uh, being able to change directly real fast is a good thing because, well, you don't want to be sluggish when you're trying to uh, hide around a corner from someone you didn't notice. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm trying to be a bit watchful since you said mixed reviews, since, yeah, as I said, some games have a rough start before they get good. Like, yeah. I think it took Arc three years or something before they got out of mixed reviews, same with Pixark and other games. Yeah, I'm, I think I recognize the voice actor of Eric here, but I can't place him. <laughs> There's a lot of gravelly voice to uh, voice like, oh, wait, you're Rose. I see you brought a guest. Nice to see you again. Was the drink okay? Hey, Rose. This dude has, like, got no idea what's happening. Can't remember a damn thing. And he's here all alone? Looks like it. Hello, I'm still here. Could you tell me what's going on? I have no idea what you're talking about. You're a... Vampire. A vampire, like Tom and me. <laughs> yeah, right. Thanks for the drink. And what no the... offense, but I'll just be going now. Tom, show him. Hey, neat trick, man. What? You automatically resorted to your vampire abilities out of pure reflex. Not bad. You seem to be a natural. Thank you, Tom. I'll take care of our guest now. You can go back. Yo, later, man. Okay, the voice Sarah? acting isn't bad. My name is Eric. Eric Bain. Well, Eric, I'm Rose. I hope our little demonstration convinced you. I don't think I have any alternative. That is correct. Right now, you also have a much bigger problem you need to take care of. You are not yet a fully-fledged vampire, and that has some drawbacks. Okay, dialogue <laughs> trees. <laughs> Very uh, Mass Effect-ish. I, I have no idea when this game came out, actually, so... Yeah, this might have been after Mass Effect. Uh, yeah, <laughs> after Mass Effect, a lot of games just started using this sort of... Uh, dialogue system but uh, as yeah. I was saying the voice acting isn't terrible but the writing feels a bit iffy at spots like yeah, especially, especially how they clipped up this scene here tell me more about vampires what would you like to know yeah tell I agree with you yourself. there me well it's been about 10 years since I was a normal human I own this club and I look after the young vampires such as yourself. But I don't really want to talk about myself right now. Maybe some other time. Yeah, Eric feels a bit feels a bit flat with his uh, lines so far, but that could be because he was told to go for the gravelly voice and when you, when you <laughs> when you put a lot of gravel in your voice, I don't think it has too much uh, range of how far it can go. Yeah. Can you tell oh, me you something about the vampires in the sanctuary? Yes, I could tell you a little something, but that would be kind of inappropriate, wouldn't it? It's best if you speak with them yourself. Tom, you've already met. He's my head of security. The Kruger twins also work here in the club. April is behind the bar. I assume you remember her. June is our DJ. If you want to know more about them, I suggest you speak with them directly. Bloody hit the camera! Yeah, <laughs> and the lip syncing is... Uh... <laughs> it looks like someone's trying to talk with a sock puppet and just making movements. Yeah, in an old game, fine. I can give them a pass on that, but... When you move the camera around that much between dialogue, even the short one, it's yeah. just gonna confuse the player. Let's see... I can do a quick search here. Yeah, and as you said about the dialogue menu there, I mean, it's not popular of the Mass Effect, but also, the ones that use it the most were everyone worked with EA and Bioware since after Dragon Age and Mass Effect, Bioware used that the dialogue circle to all their games. 
Actually, All this, of them. This came out in 2013. Okay. How come nobody knows that vampires really exist? Because we're very careful not to attract attention. Do you think people out there would be happy if they knew that we're living amongst them? We can't be satisfied by synthetic or animal blood. Believe me, I've tried it. No, we need real blood, and we need it from a living person. We are powerful, Eric. You are powerful, but we are not invulnerable. Bullets can harm and even kill us. However, there are just a few of us, but we have plenty of conflict within our society. So we use our power and influence to keep people in the dark. There are vampires out there who have built economic empires and control the media. They ensure that our existence remains secret. Let's talk about something else. Gladly. How come I'm not a full vampire yet? If a vampire drinks your blood and kills you in the process, you will turn into a vampire yourself. However, that alone does not complete the transformation. First, you have to drink your creator's blood. Only then will you be a full-fledged vampire. And since I don't know who made me a vampire, that's kind of a problem. Exactly. A vampire doesn't just create another vampire for no reason. We try to hide our very existence from humans, and every newcomer increases the risk of being discovered. Your creator put us all at risk when he just left you behind. No vampire would willingly call down the wrath of all the others upon himself. I suppose something must have happened to him. And what happens if I don't drink his blood? You really don't want to know. I have no idea exactly what happens when someone becomes a vampire, but if you do not get the right blood, your brain starts to deteriorate. You will become more and more of an animal until you finally lose all of your humanity. We call these pitiful creatures ghouls. <laughs> Believe me, you want to avoid becoming one of those creatures at all costs. Do I have any options? Ah, yes. The blood of an ancient and powerful vampire can theoretically replace your creator's blood. But I'm talking about vampires that have been in the business for several decades. You won't find anyone like that in the sanctuary. But I do know of someone. His name is John Blooming. He's the director of the Harding Museum downtown. Blooming is not a nice man. He's not likely to give you his blood voluntarily. It's not as if I have much of a choice. That is certainly true. However, you should talk to Tom before you head out. He can give you a few tips. Okay, uh, <laughs> info dump much? Yeah, so... okay. 2013. Okay, I can give some pass on the lip sync in there and, and how they look, but some. In 2013, they had the master uh, how to turn around. Yeah, I'm doing a quick search on when Mass Effect came out. Oh, come on, this is six years after Mass Effect. Okay, yeah, I can see why people are a bit, uh, yeah, this sort of graphics, again, low budget is more understandable, but lip syncing by 2013 was fully mastered, so, <laughs> and all of this basically comes across to me like a, a knockoff uh, Vampire the Masquerade. I'm not be surprised with that the case. But like, if you don't try to make a high budget game, at least they can look like one, but yeah, they're not hiding it well. Uh, we still have uh, 10 minutes or so. Hey man, everything okay? Uh, before we yeah. uh, switch to the second game, if this turns out to be nothing tutorial. Yeah. You're not, you're not even done any fighting or stealth at all. At, at, at Tell this me moment. anything about the museum. Uh, Rose told you about that? Sure, man. What do you want to know? Tell me about Blooming. Blooming is one crazy son of a bitch. Guy really ain't got both oars in the water, man. I met him about a year ago because I was thinking about working for him. But that dude is crazy. You know, it's gotten even worse over the last few months. The last one who went over to see him never returned. We figured Blooming killed him. Sounds like fun. Sure, man, if you got a thing for nutcases. Also, something I've... Ancient and powerful vampires, but they've only been in the business for, like, decades. I'm pretty sure for something to be considered ancient, it has to be at least a century old. <laughs> Yeah. What do I need to know about the museum? Hey man, I ain't exactly a museum aficionado. Look, some rich snob had it brought here from Europe, 
Used to be a castle or something like that. Otherwise, the guards are pretty useless. Just fat old dudes, you know? They only carry pistols, and they probably could have hit a house at 20 yards with them. The annex is an old watchtower kind of thing. That's where you'll find the security office. Okay, thanks. Um, there's just one more thing. What? Word is, Blooming's digitized a few things about vampirism to keep in the museum. I'd really love to cast an eye on them, bro. Maybe you could find them and bring them back with you. If you do go to the museum, it'd be way cool if you could bring something back for me. If I get the chance, let's talk about something else. Sure, man. Whatever you want. Can you tell me anything about vampires? Sure can, dude. <laughs> what do you want to know? What do you know about um, us? Not much, man. If you kill someone by drinking his blood, then he turns into a vampire too. Usually causes memory loss, and you don't remember anything from your past. That's what's happened to you, man. You'll wander around as a vampire for a few days, but then you'll slowly start to act more and more like an animal. Eventually, your brain just quits on you, dude. And you end up being one of those mindless ghouls. But, <laughs> hey man, that ain't gonna happen, right? I'm sure. Yeah, I'm guessing in that flashback what we were attacked by, or whatever, whoever that memory was from. Uh, because Eric here doesn't really look like a military type. And that certainly looked or felt like a soldier of some sort. Yeah. What do you know about vampire powers? The cool thing about us vampires is that we can do some pretty cool shit. You've already showed us your shadow trick, and that was some slick trick, man. <laughs> Generally, though, abilities are different from vampire to vampire. For example, it made Rose into this, like, wild technology guru. My vampire thing is I learned to see through shit, like x-ray eyes for real, man. <laughs> and I can now hit even harder than before. The older a vampire gets, the more awesome the tricks he learns, man. They say the really old vampires who've like been around for centuries can do some really kinky shit, man. Let's talk about something else. Okay, dude. Whatever you want. I, I'm also a bit uh, annoyed about that uh, that shadow trick, but like. It's almost like they knew he was going to teleport or something, but uh, what if he not? If what if they just shot a hole in him and he just fell over? Yeah, and also I, I think I recognize the voice of the main character. Okay. I, I might be wrong, but I think that's the one that does the yellow in the Witcher games. Actually, it might be. A... Hmm, What's that good impression of him? More. Not really teach, you know, but I got an idea about how you can train your intuitive reflexes. There's a few thugs hanging around out front of the club. Maybe you could check it out. Sounds good to me. All right, man. Good luck. I found myself in a deserted alley. Tom had sent me here for training. Something was wrong. I staggered down the only way I could find. Okay, if you enter an enemy's field of vision, your vampiric powers will prevent him from noticing you immediately. Instead, the visibility indicator will appear and be sl begin to slowly turn red. Once it's completely red, your opponent will notice you and turn aggressive. So, like, a sort of gl instinctive glamour. Okay. And... Hey, man! You look pretty messed up! How about it, sucker? You got some change? That's right, man. Give us your money, or you are so toast! I felt anger rise in me. The desire to hurt someone, and a craving for blood. Stop that asshole! I, I like their sort of cartoony art style, like it's more like a, it's from a comic or something, but... Uh, it feels asshole. like... The benefit when you make it also like it looks like a comic character or something like that is that you have easier time to give expression and explain what just happened, all that. And I just killed someone and drank his blood. Here, it feels like they forgot to add the personality to I'm their faces. You, the bastard done Mikey tore his fucking throat out. Okay, man, calm down. We'll keep you safe. If he comes over here, we'll take him out.
crouching. Uh, this isn't really what this is crouching. Uh, a lot of this feels clunky. Not exactly terrible yet. Though I do have to wonder with the whole if you kill someone by drinking their blood, they become a vampire as well. Uh, we kind of drained that asshole completely dry. Though I guess you could say since he isn't a full fledged vampire, he can drink all he wants. Yeah, hopefully. Otherwise, there's a major plot hole. Okay. Okay, nice little cover based system. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. But, uh, uh, do you, did you also notice that they had very comic like uh, faces, but. Yeah, like all uh, emotion almost there. There we go. Yeah. Again, this this obviously isn't a triple A or even a B grade game, I'd say, but it's nothing too bad. It's it is front loading everything really heavy. Um. But yeah, let we'll just have to deal with it for now. Let's see. The vampire, you can use your bond with night and darkness to leap through the shadows. Press and hold space to activate targeting mode. Then target the bond in the marked area and press teleport there. Okay. So, akin to blink in Dishonored. Something's here. Shadow leap is very useful when you move around unseen. However, it does make a noise when you arrive at your destination. A noise that can attract nearby enemies. Later you can reduce the volume of this noise. Okay, that's going to make it less useful for now. Ah oh man, now I'm imagining things. Let's see. Each enemy kills and as you experience points, they can use to improve your vampiric powers and most enemies who haven't noticed you bring much more experience than alert. Uh, the alarmed enemies, okay, so that's a that's a reason to stay stealthy. If you've managed to cross a number of areas without triggering an alarm, you will receive additional bonus points. So they heavily want you to remain stealthy. Yeah, I hope it's not one of the games that... Mm. Mm. Oh, that means it's itself good, I think, for... But I think, I think like, I heard of stealth games that totally butchered the stealth mechanics that made it Stealthing almost impossible. Okay, I like how you can drag enemies around, but it's <laughs> just a shadow teleport and a flip kick. Come on. Uh. Uh. There goes the unnoticed Shit. bonus. The fuck are you? Your worst nightmare. Let's see. Like the healing power, regeneration. Okay. Okay, but, uh, but if you, is it from first 2013? Hmm. Yeah, you could see if this is the same uh, voice actor as Gerald. So and here we have a sign of bad porting. Or optionally, you can drag this power to your quick bar by pressing on the controller. Yeah, we don't. I uh, I can already start to see why. Uh, other points that people dislike this. So it was a bad console port for the PC. Very possible. Uh, I'm not sure what uh, if I'm gripped into the story even at the moment. And yes, just confirmed it here on the International Movie Database. This is the same voice actor as Geralt. I was right. And now you know where all the money went. So well, this came out before, before Witcher, I think. No, yeah, no, did. <laughs> okay, this came out. This came out between Witcher 2 and 3. So, yeah, he must have been pretty expensive for them. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. I do like that it's you can drag the corpses around. Yeah, that's usually a good bonus. As long as it's done well. Hmm. 
Uh, so far, uh, yeah, I'm not sure really how to, but they just all of that info dump at the front, and not really a very natural tutorial, I'd say. It it's covering the ba it's covering the things, but um, it's also it's just front loading all of this stuff onto you. Yeah, a, a bit too much at the once. Sometimes it's better to have smaller tutorials spread out to make it short. Okay. <laughs> uh, very uh, purple. Oh no. Is this game about purple guy? Okay, where's. I can get this guy on scene. For a, uh, for a not fully fledged vampire, he sure is powerful. And okay, got seen there. So, hmm. Okay, drag it. Drag someone in those clothes against concrete is far from quiet. And okay, he's. Is he a hostile or is he just looking up? He's not checking the our way, so hmm. again, so far this game doesn't seem terrible, but not exactly good either. Yeah, it, it's too much info for the dump, and and yet this hasn't really. It feels like they missed this arc. Yeah, it, it's a similar problem with. Uh, it was with hydrophobia again. We keep coming back to that. It just throws you right in without, uh, yeah, without giving you a, a, a moment to get a feel for the world or something. Though in this case, it does make sense because, well, we were just turned into a vampire fledgling and lack memory. But you'd think they'd ease you in a lot more. Yeah, it's too much at the once. Hmm. PowerPoint. I, I don't know if it, it was supposed to be a joke, the way he, how he edgedly, like the very edge lord, talk, talked about his drunkness. Or what he was saying, it sounded like he was very drunk. Uh, let's see. Be right back, and I'm throwing some further into the headline. Increase the distance, cooldown. Okay. So we can either say, try and save up four points to uh, better that shadow leap. Or. Let's see. What else? Vampire vision. Undead and enemy weapons. Okay, we've not encountered undead yet. Let's see, shadow kill. Distract. Generation, shadow grip. Vampiric speed, confusion. Hmm. Passive powers. National sense, we have keep only five percent. Okay, hmm. toughness. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to save up that point for now. Does it almost look like you're lagging when you move? Or frame rating? Yeah, I'm... The game is running at 130 FPS here. Hey man, everything okay? Can you tell me something about the sanctuary? Sure man, 
Sanctuary is a nightclub, as you've probably noticed. However, we mainly use this place as our base and as a refuge for young vampires. I don't know what Rose told you about us, but most vampires are loners. That's why the young and inexperienced usually don't make it. The club lets us cover each other's backs and help one another out. So it's a good thing you landed with us, bro. Oh, and uh, maybe you should uh, talk to Jennifer? She's still a human, but she digs vampires. <laughs> know what I mean? See you later. Yo, man. Later. Uh... Yeah. Act, act once more for like the fifth or sixth time or so. This isn't exactly feeling like a bad game yet. But it's it's lacking a spark. It's lacking a charm, really. Like, yeah. It's it's too early in to give a full judgment, but it's already it's also too early in to just dump all of that stuff onto us. Yeah, and in some games it's good good to not judge you too early, but you should have something that makes sure it's not that they still keep Hey, you're Eric, right? Tom told me about you. I'm April, April Kruger. If there's anything I can do for you, just let me know, okay? Tell me about vampires. I'd like to help you, Eric, but to be honest, I haven't been one for long. But what would you like to know? What do you know about vampire abilities? Not much, to be honest. My sister made me a vampire so I can move super fast, which is pretty cool when you're mixing drinks. But we're not in Rose and Tom's league. I've heard there's some really powerful vampires out there who can throw cars and trucks around or like jump from high-rise buildings. But I've never met anyone who could do that, thank God. Uh, I do not like that voice. Tell me about the other vampires in the sanctuary. Okay, so Tom, you know already. He's head of security and makes sure that everything stays cool. The humans are generally no problem, but sometimes other vampires drop by. But so far, everything has stayed under control. Rose owns the place. She is like a real genius with computers, and she's a total tech junkie too. June is my sister. She works here as a DJ. If you want to know anything about her, your best bet is to ask her yourself. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you want, Eric. That's an, another odd thing. Like, how would vampire powers be computer related? Yeah, I don't get this. Honestly, it makes you do something with electronics. Tell me about the museum. Like I think there's a medieval exhibition there right now. It's been a few years since I visited. One thing I have heard is that the museum director is also one of us. But you'd be better off talking to Tom and Rose about him. Mm. See you later. See you, Eric. Uh, yeah, there's something, something extreme on satisfying with the uh, dialogue uh, scenes. Yeah, it, overall, this this game has been rather bland. So I think in a bit we'll move on to the second game. Hey, baby, you're looking good. Anything I can do for you? I have to go. Oh. Okay. Then come back later, babe. Yeah, the movements look stiff. Yeah, this this game is just feeling like an off-brand vampire the masquerade, uh, with a lot more purple. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? At the moment, I think one of my annoyance with it is all the lights and darkness, and like. Normally, I don't like too br much brightness. I like Welcome back, Eric. Semi light and all, but this. Uh. I'm ready. Excellent. Good luck. How do you rate your chances? <laughs> okay. Uh, interesting. This will be a cakewalk. Whatever you want. I'll give you a radio so we can stay in touch. And I'm pretty good with computers. Maybe I can help you out a little. Good luck, Eric. Good day. Again. I made my way to the museum and thought about what Rose had said. Vampire. The idea was absurd, incredible, but the evidence was overwhelming and irrefutable. I was hoping that someone would come and tell me it was all just one big joke, but no one came. For now, I would have to accept it and focus on my goal. 
The Harding Museum rose before me like a quiet rock, impervious to the approaching storm. At least that's what I thought. Apparently, I was not the only visitor to the museum tonight. Someone else got here before me. Someone with a twitchy trigger finger. Rose, can you hear me? Yes, what is it? Have you already found Blooming? No. There are a few other people wandering around here, and they definitely have not booked the night tour. People with automatic weapons. Automatic weapons? Be careful, Eric. The best way for you to get into the building is through the annex. There's a connection to the foyer on the top floor. Okay, I'll get back to you later. MN? Some enemies are distracted and largely unaware of the surroundings, then you can either kill the enemy or advance to the next position. I'm not sure okay. what I think well, of the their this area, as long as no gloomy detective vibe they're trying to yeah, do. Yeah, but if just one cop shows up here, things will get uncomfortable. Oh, come on. If it was only one, we could make it disappear. That's no problem. Besides, the captain's listening to the radio, so we'll know ahead of time. If you say so. Okay, are these some sort of private military mercs or something? In... Well, the neon is telling me the, n the glowing on their arms tells me they're probably having some sort of strength enhancer. Hmm. Yeah, the why? Uh. Oh, there's a line sh pointing us to the next objective. Okay, pay attention to things lying on the ground. Stepping on them could cause a noise, even when you're creeping. Some enemies don't move at all, but instead just stand there looking in one direction, kill them or advance to the next position. Yeah, this is feeling for uh, for it's <coughs> for a uh, it's 2010s game. This is feeling very uh, 2000. Yeah, uh, no, just playing 2000 or 90s with all of these constant little things. Yeah. It it's early, it's early, but it's <laughs> Yeah. Okay, uh, he is happy to be dead. Yeah, let, let's just give it a bit more, like, uh, we are at almost, let's see. Almost one hour. Uh, 45 minutes now, and that's with auto movement again. So many missions. Yeah, it, this feels very handholdy. Like the game isn't trusting us to be able to play a game on their, our own so far. Yeah, the, I am neutral, very neutral to handholdy games, depending how handholdy they are. And again, for a full, for not even a fully. A vampire fledgling, Eric has some uh, powerful abilities already. I wouldn't be getting into the building yep. that way, and have to take the connecting tunnel from the annex, like Rose said. All clear so far. Yeah, no signs of disturbance. Many minutes, enemies have synchronized timing. Keep an eye on them and try to learn their routes and timings. Also, another bit of hand holdy is that we could have just gotten up here and gotten this done. Like, come on. Like, did it have to t send us all the way around just to tell us some obvious things? There you go. Yeah. I've seen some anime games that said was very hand holy, but once they were done with their hand holding, <gasps> they didn't do much hand holding after. Like, just being very clear this is how you do it, now you're on your own. Which I can be okay with, since they make you understand the controls right away. And let them, let you, them, you, let, yeah, they let, basically let you do what you want afterwards. And it's up to you to remember. <laughs> so they usually have a, so you can read up if you forget. Oops. 
think I've played some games where the tutorial were basically almost one and two hours long. Oh, there's number three. Let's see, where are you going to go? Uh, let's see if we can end this level and then move on to the thing that I've actually tagged this game as. Wait, wait, I did. Hold on. I forgot yeah. to add a category to the stream, apparently. Okay. Not that that will do much now, anyways. Where are you just going to stand there? You are just going to stand there. Alright then. Um. Uh, also a little... F this... This guy is in the exact same pose as the cop we found at the... At the entrance or so. Like, there... Oh. Is it a limited form of ragdolling? No, it's just the exact same model. Oh. Let's see, seems to be clear of other enemies here. Yeah. And what I'm starting to notice is many of the functions in this game. Oh, oh wait, uh, it's my end. Uh, that, that, that's a problem with the internet at the moment. Let's see, what's this? PDA. Okay, data collector, one of seven. Okay, I get the feeling this is going to be a very short game as well. Those should be the books that Tom wanted. Well, it was very cheap, you said as well. Yeah. No. Um, I'll actually check if this game has a, is on a how long does it take or so, however that uh, site was called again, to see how long it, what, how long it is. Yep. <laughs> Okay. Rose, there's no way through. Oh, sorry, Eric. I should have thought of that. You'll have to get me access to the museum's security system first, and then I'll get you in. Head on over to the tower. From there, I can hack into the system. On my way. Uh, yeah. A lot of this feels cheap, as we keep saying, but it's... They... They spent quite a bit on voice actors. Though, yeah. it probably yeah. would have been better if they put more of that budget in other things. Yeah. The massive rain uh. has led to flooding in some yeah. areas. Most of the east Uprooted trees and fallen fields. branches are blocking a number yeah. of roads and approaches. With the fire department already going all out in large-scale operations, the simultaneous battle on several fronts appears hopeless at the moment. Experts predict that the storm will keep us in suspense the entire night. The mayor has what now storm? declared a state of emergency and has requested national yeah, guard assistance. Like some... what storm? Yeah, there was some storm and thunder in the cutscene, but yeah, I agree. That looks a bit too calm. Hey, I uh, just if this ever Sir, reaches, I've locked oh. down all the emergency exits and have opened the door for you. I count uh, four. No, five guards on the screen. Yeah, they're all completely frazzled, so you should have an easy time of it. No sign of the target on the screen so far. I'll call you if I see him. Target? If any game developer or Rose, I'm there. budding game developer the ever sees this. Here, but I took care of him. Good. Please connect the transmitter I gave you to the computer. Then I can get into the system. Right. Very good. Wait just one sec. Good. Access is now open. But there's something strange going on here. They use the system to lock all the exits. Their weapons and taste for shooting museum guards tells me that something else is going on here. I'll be in touch. Basically, the priority in development should be gameplay, sound, not voice. And after that, graphics and such uh, should come in in uh, how much you spend your time and uh, money on because well a game may look beautiful but if it plays like crap it's going to be hated all the same yeah and as Those you don't need can you open the door for me sure it'll only take a minute 
This security system is so old, it's kind of a protection in itself. But I'll get it. I just need to manually make a small change here. Okay, got it. Open sesame. Uh, you, you just need competent voice actors, not uh, triple A's or so, like, well, <laughs> Geralt here. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. And when it comes to graphic, the one line is not super graphical, but it still looks good. So you can go low graphic and then try and make it look good if you want. For that could be a challenge. For the problem is when you're trying to make very high graphic games, is like yeah more time more money and more things can go wrong Wait, they they staked this guy with oh that's that's a knife right for what i thought they staked him oh, like a yeah like a vampire yeah. Uh, but um yeah. yeah lately i saw something on that uh, basically a picture that was showing uh, a character model in ten times better graph, you know, ten times better quali graphic quality. We're having more uh, triangles, or I forget what the specific name of it was. And at some point, it just uh, putting oh. We need backup right now. At some point, Reloading. just putting in more is not going to do any help anything. Yeah, I, I'm not even really curious of what the hell is going on. So, yeah, let's just move on to the next game. Yeah, for I think the biggest problem with this game is we did not get invested or cured in story at all in one hour. Yeah, it it's it's just plain bland. It's not bad, it but it's not good either, which explains why it's got mixed reviews. Okay, yeah. let's see. Stream is capturing this. I'll need to see if I can. Act I didn't actually. S I didn't actually see if this can go into. Uh, into windowed mode. But uh, yeah, this is the Disney Afternoon Collection. That's a uh, quite a leap in whip and even whiplash. Let's see options. Uh, full screen. Dogtails and Chippendale is something my family really hardcore played in as young. Okay, I, di I didn't actually know that there was a Darkwing Duck game. Not I. I, sh should I really should just turn off the notification on during stream times with this. Make my fitness tracker. Uh, let's see. Tailspin, DuckTales 2. I, I didn't actually know that there was a sequel to that. And, well, <laughs> neither did I know of this. But uh, yeah, everyone knows this game, so let's have a look at this one. Time attack, boss rush, how to play. Uh, that's always nice to have. Run, hide, jump, jump down. Why is F jump? D. A. Hmm. Okay, a bit odd. Probably because this is. A f these, these are, of course, ports from console to PC. Uh, yeah, it's not its not like they have us reaching from one side of this you know, keyboard to the other. So let's have a look. F, D, and S. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's a bit loud on my end. Hey gang, we have a new assignment. Our cute little neighbor, Mandy. Uh, okay, I accidentally skipped. Excuse me. I'm an Amanda Pantan lady. And which one is my beauty from the Let's see. Jump. Uh, those were actually collectibles, okay. Uh, am I supposed to be able to do something with these? Yeah, obviously, dodge the robo dogs. Oh. Uh, we have three hearts. And there was. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh. 
How did that hit us? <laughs> okay, these things have quite a big hitbox. Yeah, they do, but I, I recall that. <laughs> I have to say, for this era, they really made the pixel art look good. Yeah, they, they had to. Now let's see, we can go this way. Oh, hello, Zipper. Or, was it Zipper? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. And <laughs> that's our first life gone. Well, oh god, are you feel like hmm? this will can be a bit of a of a rage game. Hey, wrong button. Yep. Cactus. <laughs> Uh, a lot of these game old games were tough. Oh yeah, they definitely were. And when this music is good, after a few minutes dips, the music can become... Uh, yeah, annoying. Yeah, it's... It, it almost feel like it's mocking you. <laughs> okay, let's... Okay, we have to go this way, and I excellent almost got killed there again. The mother is hearing this and wondering if I've got a new Nintendo or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the one that played the most of this game was my mother. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> the screen doesn't scroll back, so you die if you fall back down. Okay, one more try, and then we're going to the next game. Uh, before we get, go insane from the music. Yeah, it is good, but. He can quickly get annoying. Okay, we got a star and uh Okay. <laughs> Robo Dog just twerking. That had the even on console. Almost forgot that. Yeah, I'm playing this game pretty shitty, but uh yeah, we are just here to try things out. And we have, like, four other games to take a look at I'm if not, needed. I'm not gonna really yawn here, but it is a pretty game. Right, yeah, that, that was the... Uh, <laughs> come on, the moment... <laughs> the moment that the invincibility ends. But we have this rewind button function here that we could use that... Okay, conti limited continues. It also fits in. Uh, let's see. Okay, so it is. Just, these are basically emulated games, straight up. Let's see. If we can. Legal emulated games, basically. Yeah. Let's see. Fish, well done, Disney. Okay, <laughs> we could put filters over it, like, that causes the lines like this. <laughs> okay, uh. But. Yeah, oh, we. Means... Wait, we can change this? Or you know, they want you to use a controller if need possible. Let's see, can I actually con connect this still? Nope. Okay. Uh, wait, how do I exit? Oh, there we go. Quit. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's check out Tailspin then next. Yep, I do. I didn't see that one. But I seen the cartoon, obviously. I had on VS Edge and loved it. But I never played it. Okay, wake up, Baloop. He's got lots of work today. I've lined up eight. Okay, uh, what button are we supposed to. Here's your first assignment fire with this. Okay, F just progresses. Enter skips. Find your destination, but watch out for Don Carnage. He may be waiting for you. If you happen to find more cargo, pick it up and deliver it. What's her name? I have no idea, actually. And we can just go up and down. Uh, I, sh I should have looked at the controls. Yeah, you should. Yeah. <laughs> the heck? <laughs> uh, yeah, how to play. Let's see, up, down, left, and right, flip upside down, uh, fire cannon, okay. Below the high-flying ace is off, 
off on more assignments, but the sunny skies over the Cape are full of clouds and trouble. Almost as soon as he takes off, Baloo meets up with Don Khan's sharp sharpshooting air pirates. Their hearts nip. How strong the mini sea duck is? Okay, I'm guessing that's the name of the ship in the world. That's lighting my face up a lot on the <laughs> on the face cam. Oh, poor mm -hmm. mother. God. Uh, I remember this series well. Probably is. I really was like, the only one I ever remember the name was Baloo. Yeah. You know, I don't know what all the people were called. Okay, this, so this is basically a sort of uh, light shoot 'em up ish. Yeah, uh, wait, I think I'm going to grab another character. I wonder who's in combat here, uh, Sherry Khan. I have no idea who that might be. It's... Uh, the tiger. In suit. Yeah, what? Why do we even have the option to do this? Yeah. In some that makes sense. Oh, it's to shoot backwards. That's... I don't know what to say about that. Okay, uh, oh, there we go. I, for a moment I thought, are we just going to wait there? What? Uh, yeah, the... Okay, let's give it... Actually, shall we just give each of these a try until a game over? Yeah, makes sense. Otherwise, we'll have to have several screens to play most of them. Which yeah. Idea. But why, wait, does it have a function or do you always have to restart from every very, very first part? Uh, but it did say save game, and that rewind function would allow you to undo mistakes. Uh, yeah, th this one's getting a new show, uh, to my knowledge. Yeah, no, that's for a while now. Tape shield. He actually looked badass from what I've seen so far. Switch gas, okay. Uh, let's go then. And this time we don't skip the intro. <laughs> I am the Okay, <laughs> that was very fast. <laughs> and the terror that pecks at your nightmare. Okay? <laughs> okay, good music with this and the other ones so far. Yeah, and. They really put the, the pixel thing here to the test on the 8 bit uh, Nintendo. Yeah. But well, they, they kind of had to at the. Uh, at during this era. Because, well, this was this was basically the top that uh, graphics could be on the NES and uh, Super Nintendo. Or the SNES. Yeah, is this on Super Nintendo or NES? I'm guessing. Uh, SNES. I think games only really went 3D after the SNES, like the Nintendo 64, PlayStation and such. Yeah, I know there was some console that did uh, a bit more bits, but it still had like this, but I'm sure it did. Was 8-bit able to handle this? Now this, is more, this is definitely more 16-bit. I believe the crimes are the work of that secret criminal organization foul. <laughs> you must put an end to their fiendish plans. Launchpad will brief you with the details of your mission. Remember to collect all of the stolen diamonds and gold bars. Good luck, Darkwing. Okay, where should we go? Okay, we get this. We have a level select. Uh, let's go to the bridge then. Crackerjack and his henchmen are blocking the construction of the new bridge. You'd better stop him before someone gets hurt. Do you want to go there? Okay, even confirmation. Okay. I don't remember the the plane being that purple. <laughs> they might have to do that too, too when you see the background. Let's see, what is this? T 
tear gas, I'm guessing? Okay, and so we have a, like, uh, Zelda with the hearts that each one is made out of four parts. Uh, okay. Grab onto this? Apparently not. Uh, oh, hello. Okay, th this this game is feeling like. Uh, <laughs> oh, you? No, uh, Mega Man. A bit. Okay, I can agree with that. It actually looks very Mega Man. Uh, hang on. I recall Mega Man really already challenged that part than uh, the 8-bit uh, okay. uh, can do. Okay, so we can grab onto the hooks by pressing jump again. And I somehow missed that one there. <laughs> Wait. How did I grab on earlier? Oh. I need to hold up, or I need to press up. Okay. A Darkwing Duck doll, <laughs> okay. And enemies that just suicide themselves into the pits. Okay. <laughs> Not going to complain. Uh, yeah, Darkwing is a bit of an egomaniac, and uh, how am I supposed to get up? Okay, at least it allows. <laughs> at least it allows to be. Uh, oh, scroll backwards. Yeah, full of himself at the very least. Yeah, but not too much, because he does care about uh, his family and all that, and friends, if I remember right. And most egomaniacs, yeah, they would completely neglect them. Let's see, cape shield, duck, fire gun, status screen. Okay, uh. How am I supposed to get further than this? I can't jump high enough to... Oh! <laughs> that answered that! Okay. I'm not sure if... Oh, wait, did, did he do that automatically there? Okay, why are you doing it automatically now, Darkwing? Question, uh, is it where it goes to look like... At the moment. Uh, I, I wouldn't be able to really tell the. Mm. Yeah. yeah. How would you really tell the difference between eight and sixteen bits, or, except for the, uh, except for not yeah. failing? <laughs> yeah. For the, the best one I could say was like earlier when we had that scene with a end. But that head looks extremely well. That makes you wonder if it really is 16-bit or 8-bit. Yeah, I, th I think the most now. part was that 16-bit would allow for more colors as well. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing this... Now I'm... One. Yeah, I, I'm just going to presume that this is 16-bit uh, and not 8. Because... the. The other difference was that, well, also the quality went up, so, yeah. And now he's just doing it automatically, or was he almost always doing it automatically? This one is going to have an 8-bit or 16-bit. Oh, wait. Is 8-bit compatible to play on an 16-bit? I'm not sure, actually. I think the cartridges might have been too different. Hmm, might be. Could be something to investigate. Yep. And I. Was that the very same oh. spot? <laughs> of course, I could use the excuse that I'm also talking whilst playing this, so I'm not fully, fu uh, fully f <laughs> focusing on the game. But it, that would yeah. just be, like I said, an excuse. Some can talk and play at the same time, depending on the game. But this is like the big campaign that can be tricky on. Can 
And especially when you start to do young puzzles or like, any form of uh, extreme jumping. Let's see. Let's let that one uh, deal with himself. Uh, let's see if we can actually get anything any further here. But I was not really a gamer back then. I didn't become a real really gamer until I let me started to play on computer like Warcraft 2 and Age of Empires. I think Warcraft 2 might be one of the few games that really made me into a gamer. Besides yeah. some directional games. Yeah, but those were <laughs> educational. Uh, my gaming started on the PC and only later went to uh, to consoles. Also, why are gold bars worth more <laughs> than diamonds in this? No idea. But yeah, yeah, I did play before the computer. Just not in the way I would do that I can do nowadays. I still went out and play and watch other movies and such. But yeah, but so I think well, I started to get develop interesting games with some educational dinosaur games on the computer. But I think of Warcraft 2 and Age of Empires that really, really turned me into a gamer. Uh, yeah, I've been basically with games my, all of my uh, life, I think. I can't really remember it to anything in the uh, single digits years. But I know that I... Yep. Same spot again. Okay, I've... <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, basically before I played myself, I used to watch my father play a lot. And I only now noticed that I forgot to close the door. Same. I used to watch my, either my father or my mother play. Or my brothers. The problem is, if I did enjoy them, I was bad at them. Yes, we all time, young time and all that for... I struggle with that. So when all the people like the Pokemon, the Pokemon Dinosaur or Warcraft 2, but especially finally this, I could play without being horrible bad at it. I think. Um, let's think for a moment. One of the first one. games I've played, or. I can't remember which specifically was the first, but I know a few of the first games that I've played, or the games that I've played the earliest that I can remember. Uh, there was um, basically a, a Mario bootleg on computer that my aunt and uncle somehow had on their computer. <laughs> uh, Tomb Raider. And... Uh, Giant Citizen Kabuto, which is still one of my all-time favorite games because it's just fucking funny. <laughs> And I will get to streaming that eventually. Better. And beyond that, um, some Nintendo 64 games at uh, different aunts and uncles. Uh, among which uh, I can remember Mario Kart, I think, and Diddy Kong Racing. issue was I was horrible about jumping and I found it annoying and I could not save my progress. So when he came to come around with a speaking feature, I was back and like, why did no one do this earlier? Okay, this is auto scrolling, I'm not touching anything here. Spit on my spats, okay. Turn that filter off now, by the way. <clears throat> uh, yeah, NES games and such, I don't think I ever really played. Maybe... Maybe Mario World at some point, only a part. I've never been able to finish that, basically. Like, the first... I've told Tortier this before, and I may have told this a, f a few times on stream, uh, yeah. But... 
Uh, yeah, we, my family never owned a console until I bought one myself, uh, which was a GameCube. Yep. I remember you telling us that. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I remember trying to do one of the Zelda games, Zelda 2, and really, really get into the gaming, but the rest of the stuff in, I could not turn off the, uh, the Nintendo due to otherwise I would need to redo everything. And I think also that it turned me off from games in serious map. I think yeah, I think a lot of people annoy that the games are so long. But you can't save them, but only a few of them that gave you a code to program. What about you, you, you use a sheet? It's only work if you got a game genie. It's like a cartridge to put on the cartridge and put in. And the sheet book, uh, yeah, that, that damn thing was a mess. It low quality paper, and basically it. You have to look for the pages that fell out of the book everywhere. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, password systems... Yeah, those were just a requirement of the time before... I think maybe... Metroid was the first one with an actual save game, or save system. Yeah, at least one of the first big the, ones. Yeah, I don't know if Zelda did have some of the same feature, but when I used them, it felt like... Did it really the same? I still have the points, but still have to explore from all way back, so it's not being questionable over them. But, yeah, we have Metroid, but I don't remember it having a same feature there. I mean, we have to explore all over every time. Yeah, I could be completely wrong, of course. We have moles here, and yeah, <laughs> the uh. The famous Pogo Bounce. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I think there is a new one of these uh, that are for computer. The voice and I can have it. It's quite fun. Yeah, there, there is a remake of uh, DuckTales 1. Actually, I might be, I might start that up instead after, after we game over in each of these here. Yeah, it is. If that one is good, I can see us see that. No. Okay, we are not going that way, uh, unless... Uh, okay... Okay, <laughs> you could just pogo on the spikes. Yeah, just watch out for the spikes over you. Yeah. Okay, what's up here? God, I feel like, I feel like the first time I watched the remake on YouTube was the introduction to... How uh, Scrooge actually sound in English. <laughs> and I love his voice actor. It's not more fun than English, the Swedish one. The Swedish one is good. But good God! The Scottish actually is priceless. Uh, yeah, I think the voice actor died after uh, the recordings. Aww. Hello, Launchpad. Wait. Wait, this name is Launchpad? Yep. And we, we can outright uh, leave the level? He has another name in Swedish. In Sweden, we call him MacDuck. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and we call Scrooge as Joachim Von Anka. <laughs> that means Von Duck. We for some reason made him Dutch. <laughs> okay, you have to link me a, a, a clip of uh, him then. If there is any, sure. But yeah, I've been told people before that I'm not confused when I learned that in Sweden they got their names mixed up. Yep. And so I missed this have... rope again. Yeah, now I hear from you that his name is supposed to be Launchpad. Okay, okay you, I figured out how to do that golf stri uh, strike thing. You just walk up to something and hit the D, and <laughs> if you hit something hard, <laughs> he shudders from the impact. 
that, that's a detail not many games did back then. And this game I know is a... Uh, I wonder if our console was at 60 bit and not 8 bit. Well, Finally. Know, even as I say not 8 bit uh, Nintendo, but they look very different from the ones I'm used to, which were basically a grey rectangular box. And game over. Wait, is the remake on this uh, emulator? Uh, no, it's a no. separate game of its own. And yeah, like you can see here, you have save and load game. Yeah, that's good. For there you understand. My biggest problem with the game back then was there were no proper save. Only some had passwords, which I don't think we really put to use. And some is that did have them. Was punishable if they even worked. I did not know there's a part two of Ship and Dale. Okay, look, this is. Um. Okay, a Zeppelin in prison and. Oh, Fat Cat, of course. Yeah, that's his name? Uh, that's the uh, that's the purple cat's uh, name, yeah. I forgot him something else. I think they actually gave him an Italian name. Well, he, he does look Italian, or a, a somewhat Italian appearance with that suit of his. Yeah, I don't remember. My brain tells me he had a very stereotypical Mafia boss name. There are times where Swedish dogs give their names to a character, but sometimes they just mess it up. And here's Gadget, the uh, origin of a good part of the furry community. <laughs> so she sure. doesn't look too good in this, I'd say. I never thought of what you said there, I never... <laughs> I Oh, God, uh, here comes Montgomery with green hair. Oh no, that, that's his sweater. And a hat. Isn't his hat supposed to be brown? I, I'm not even reading the, te the text up there. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Oh wait, we, we don't call him Montgomery in Sweden, I think. In English, his name is Montgom Montgomery Jack, and he's got cheese obsessed. We call him Oscar. Okay, and here comes Zipper, looking like uh, <laughs> looking like Murphy from Rayman. Oh yeah, we have different names for Chip and Dave as well. Oh. I think we basically named them that too, too. Well, they were all going a lot. Okay, that's quite a bit of lengthy intro. Yeah, it can be good. But good if you can get a chance to read. And they missed that fat cat have <laughs> escaped. Also, wasn't the hope? Okay, this is a lot. This has a lot more detail in everything. Uh, wasn't the whole thing with Fat Cat supposed to be that uh, he wasn't showing himself or revealing himself as the villain to the humans at least? <laughs> Yeah. I, I I haven't actually seen much of the show. I remember watching it a lot, and I don't think any of the villains were known to humans, but beside the human villains, of course. Yeah, I jumped right into that. Okay, I don't have... Oh, there I need to go through. Okay, into the kitchen, and uh, hello, box mouse. I'm assuming mouse. Yeah, so mouse more rats. Yep. And he got me there. Uh, let's go to low roads. It's... Uh, 
Yeah, this restaurant or, or snack bar uh, <laughs> needs an exterminator, and... Okay, he got me there. there. Uh, yeah, these levels are a lot shorter. Or at least they give checkpoints partially through. Yeah, that was my fault. Okay, I guess we are not having this as a full screen thing. No. Um, actually, I, I don't have the DuckTales Remastered installed. Yeah, I didn't really think of that. So... Yeah, I... Uh, yeah. Half an hour remaining, too, as well. But so, yeah, I can see us English did at least do some more of this before the screen ends. But the remastered one... That one feels like maybe it be worth a streaming series. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, 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 oh, I... The boxes that our enemies are differently colored. That's how you can figure them out. Okay. Are you actually supposed to be able to jump from <laughs> these to the next? See? Only on the cork, perhaps? Yeah, I, I was on the corks there and jumped, but it didn't reach. But yeah, I, next su next Sunday, I'll uh, I'll start with the Ducktales remaster. Yeah, Hello, Zipper. Uh, what a oh, okay, we're in. What are we in? This is a bit of a bit of a strange sink. Something's over when you do a lot of dishes. What the heck did you? Uh, cookies or something. <laughs> Alright, spill it. Who set the time bomb? Water, water rabbit. <laughs> okay. Fat ass cat asked me to create a diversion and it worked. One of his goals was to uh, steal valuables most of the time. Uh, why even import them all, of all that damn things? Uh, what are we supposed to? I'm guessing we're supposed to pick pick up crates that come along and, and dead and game over. Okay. Uh, okay. I think that's actually the last of the games in here. Wait, uh, what's only the few? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. No, what? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is there any of these that you want to see another try given? Uh, not really. Okay. Uh, let's see. What was the other game that I I had? I typically prepare four games for the Something Sunday, so what was the last one that I had? Uh, okay, it won't allow me to show the desktop, or it won't... This game is overlaying everything, so I can't see my desktop. Uh, but I can't see my Steam. Ah, yeah, I see. <laughs> this one is with the really long name. So, yeah, let's exit this. And then start up this thing. Okay. Hmm? You, you were saying? I was to say the title. Yeah. As I read the title, it sounds familiar. I maybe have heard of it. Uh, 
Okay, window opened uh, pretty big, and I can hear myself on your end now. Yeah, and I can't see it. It denied me screen share. Now I have. I'm starting it up now again be, in a lower resolution, so it doesn't overfill the screen. Let's see, 9020 by 1200 should do. I really should figure out a way to black out my background whilst using a. Yeah, actually, I did try something. Let's see if this works. Okay, yeah, th that helps a bit. I just opened up a uh, an image that is just basically entirely black, then open up the game in front of that. Now, let's see. I'll have to change the game capture a bit because this I I have to select windowed at the start of this, so I can't make it go full screen after. There we go. That it the stream should pick it up any second now. There we go. Dr. Lang Langoskov, the tiger and the terribly cursed yeah, diamond or whirlwind heist. And uh, let's give this a start. The Amori Mansion won the 1912 award for the most entrances and exits. What? During the war, occupying troops installed searchlights on the, man on the roof of the mansion. Yeah, this is a meta game. Uh, we aren't actually playing this game. We're playing as uh, someone trying to make the game work. <laughs> Let's see what have we here? Schleepsbly, Astro Cola, <laughs> Swedish Warfare. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, come on, Discord, don't do that. It kicked me away from the stream. There you go. At the Swedish War. <laughs> yeah. We were all superpower once, but once that king died, we didn't want to be a superpower anymore, basically. Genevieve Cola, Pyramid Energy Drink, Dota... Is that... Do yeah, that's Dota Drink, and Delicious Sip. Oh, oh yeah, it reminds me, Dota got a series now on Netflix. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I heard something like that, and what's this? This... this... oh, hello. Tiger from a Wikipedia page. <laughs> What's this doing here? Uh, Paris game concept. Huh? One second, please. Hold, hold your first position. There's somebody at the door. Uh, yeah, I know. Okay, one second. Can we get a precise location on the trail, please? There's two of them. Right. Okay. Hi. <laughs> so this is. This is so. This is a bit. Um, this is a bit awkward. I think it's probably best if we're just really honest with each other. It's. Uh, it, yeah. It's. It's. It's a bit awkward. Um, the thing is, the game you've just downloaded. Somebody is playing it right now. So you can't. You can't. You can't. You can't play it. I'm. I'm really sorry. Yeah. This is. Uh, yeah. This is quite inconvenient. I don't know. I don't know why this keeps happening. Sorry, we're generally quite organized. You should come inside. I'll explain. Yep. <laughs> Just through here. No smoking. Uh. Here's the thing. The game's live, which makes it impossible to, to insert you. And also, it's, 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 it's just quite difficult now for you to leave. But I think it's okay. It, I, 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 know, I, I know what to do. I'm going to try I'm gonna try and call publicity and liaison, and we should be able to take you to the green room. All right? If you just wait here... Uh, and yeah, we'll be able to get you in. All right, let me just let me just find the number here. Okay, it's ringing. 
<laughs> your pickup. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, they hung up. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna try that again. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh. Okay. That's cool. Check. 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 It's all right. I know. I know. We've both got better things to be doing with our lives. <laughs> this title is too long. Oh come on. Come on. Okay. Oh, I know what's going on. We've got um something of a strike sort of situation emerging. Yeah, we've b we've become quite understaffed. Actually, you wouldn't um mind doing me a favor, would you? Come come through here. I could really I could I could really use your help. Oh, there. <laughs> yeah, this is very Stanley Parable. And if you'd rather if you'd rather wait here, I I could just let you know when we're ready for you. Yeah, those can be found or outright it's almost it's annoying. Just, you know, why miss out on this opportunity? Right? Let's see. Very few there is no hope. There is no hope. <laughs> BRB. <laughs> I've had enough. All right, listen up. I don't need to know uh, why my office has been turned into a shrubbery. I really don't. I'm going to assume it's some sort of space issue that somebody somewhere ran out of space. I don't need to know why my computer was removed and placed in the corridor <laughs> where somebody accidentally kicked it. Again, I'm guessing that's a space issue or something. I also don't need to know why we're running out of space so horribly. But I'm going to assume it's because the storage rooms are on the water or something. <laughs> because that's just par for the course now. Here's what I do know. If I can't access my desk because a rhododron is in the way, I'm done. So I I, allow, me, allow me to help you there. Rhododendron. Okay. It's a, it's a plant bush. Okay. Uh, did you find the difficulty spike during the mansion chase sequence appropriate? Amount it pissed me off. Tipping point mockery acceptable. <laughs> okay, it, it just it's, uh, it goes uphill and it spikes and it comes back down on the other side on how much it pissed him off. Okay. Were there any technical issues? IG lights not working, working too Working too much? How, how do lights work too much? Going on and off because they couldn't decide? Eh? <laughs> Saw guard rehearsing dialogue, immersion, deflation, boo. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us? More car stuff? Okay, thanks. <laughs> and as... Okay, yeah. That's your guess. Oh. That's, that was your review, wasn't it? No. Remember, it, in the event of loss of power, you. stay still and wait for recovery. Huh? Um, what? Uh, I'm not getting that. So. Loading screens and waiting. <laughs> the thing is, our entire weather department and half the wildlife crew stood up to left before we could even begin this morning. And it's all super simple. It's mostly buttons. You like buttons, right? And you'll be able to play the game as soon as whoever is in there at the moment is finished. Promise. Your help? Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, this way. Yeah, the lighting department's right through here. Garden ornamental yeah. walkway entrance. Our hope is a boat yeah. and it's sinking. <laughs> Act 3. Petty uh, thieves. Could we yep. maybe move it along just a little? The play's been in the loading screen for the last minute and a half. And we really should bring up the lights. <laughs> okay, this, this is just making fun of dumb guards. Let's see, 21st century type design, architecture of the mind, Airbnb guy, that. What? Uh, Longakovsky, guard dialogue, note do not speak until a direct line of sight is established. Hey you, I see you. I thought I heard something. At the location check, must have imagined that. Subject located, it's player name. Remember to provide player with information, I've been shot. <laughs> Come on. Rehearsal schedule, Monday. Yep. Okay, that's a lot. Access to game space. It's strictly playing some of the magic, you know. It feels a bit like cheating, but, you know, it's okay. You carry on. You do whatever you need to do. Meeting Tuesday, install new light mixer. Do not export templates in CMYK anymore. Weather room, extension cords, revised passage layout, version 23. Talk to HR about bird care. B bird care? <laughs> but, yeah, this game is all about uh, 
showing how much work there is going into a game and just making fun of it at the same time. High, My, one. high, high concept miscellaneous interactions? What? <laughs> I think I've seen slight game turn of it, but I think I quit after the intro for was not what I expected. And we can't plain can't read this for some reason. Oh, there we go. Cell room coffee machine. Remove bolts to use with chain. Um. William drew this. He's cool, I guess. What? Yeah, this is just a, a silly right. game. First things first, could you bring up the lights? Thank you so much. Because, you know, we can't have people playing in the dark. So let's blow them. There it goes. Little lights blinking on in the windows of the mansion, up past the ornamental ponds. Pretty magical, really. Okay, now we need to attack them with a the tiger. It, it, it's a heist game. The player's playing a big heist. I, I don't want to spoil it for you, but it, the tiger's very important. It's in the title. All right. Into wildlife preparation. Just through the door. Okay. The the, the, you don't have to be alarmed. It's not it's not a real jungle. It's just a game. It's actually it's just a room full of bits of jungle. The difference is important. But I, I, I mean I, I can understand the concern. Okay. Different lightings and their RGB codes. Basically, any color can be made out of the colors red, green, and blue if you mix them together in certain amounts with 255 being the maximum amount of a color that can be added i don't know the exact system in it um, let's see if you discover a fire operates the nearest fire alarm call call point immediately At attack the fire with a suitable extinguisher that is safe if the fire alarm sounds the brigade will be called Hats. Leave the building immediately. Do not stop to collect personal belongings. Do not use a lift. Close all doors behind you. Report to the designated assembly point. Do not re-enter the building unless instructed to do so. Call the brigade. Lift the receiver and dial number uh, dial 999. Actually, operator for the fire brigade. When the brigade answers, state your current whereabouts. Okay, so this is basically just an accurate fire action plan. And, uh, yeah... You should, if you're working somewhere, you should figure out the uh, escape uh, plan for that. And uh, do not use an elevator because you are likely to get stuck in there uh, if it does uh, get worse. Right. This yeah. Is so, it's so safe. We'd usually have someone else do this, but they started striking right after one of them got. Well, that's not. Uh, I shouldn't have. Just, just, just pull the lever and let's say introduce the tiger to the level. <laughs> After one of them got mauled by the tiger. I think the recovery crew uh, found it. Okay, I'm I'm trying to work out where you're going to be most useful. I don't think we have anybody left in Cornwall, do we? Oh, we do. Oh, great. Wow. Can't believe it. <laughs> the door's just over there. You're doing, you're doing so great. There's not really, there's really not far to go. Catwalks in the animal area. Uh, let's see. This is a bit hard to read. First floor mezzanine. Bookcase entrance. Oh wait, this is actually. Oh, this this would open up in the actual into the actual game level. Weather control leading to power technics. Oh, I hate this place. It hasn't been easy, you know. During our second performance, a pipe burst in here and flooded the whole garden level. Player got stuck on the uh, on the roof of the summer house. All right, okay. The script calls for a storm. Let's make it rain. It's the red valve on the pipe next to the door. Gently. No, 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 too much. Okay, we're good. Uh, there's a button below the fan that sorts out the thunder and lightning. Oh. It might be wired up from that time. That room gets checked out. Now I think about it, it might have been safe. Oh, no! There it is! There it goes! You've got a picture of the building lit up by these big flashes of lightning. It's really imposing. 
accept the matter. Oh, speaking of, the player has apparently entered the mansion through the orangery and is. They're going to use the lift. Okay, that's okay, we can do this. We're right here. This way. Actually, wait, hang on a second, this is really important. Behind this door is the closest the player ever passes backstage. They'll be right behind a wall, and I, I don't know what the wall's made of, but I do know that it's phenomenally cheap. So, it's gonna have to be very quiet, okay? So, we're going to be very loud, probably. Uh, let's see, this... Management, I didn't quit when the flood happened. I didn't quit when you reassigned me to a spectacularly dangerous apartment with no training. I didn't quit when the forklift broke and dropped a set piece on my ankle. But looking at all those things written down, I'm beginning to realize that I probably should have. I'm not generally in favor of industrial action, but thinking about it, when the brand new health and safety department literally catches fire within days of being established, perhaps, just perhaps, something like this is naturally necessary. Santiago Morg uh, Morris, heavy goods transportation, formerly paint shop. <laughs> so they had a painter moving stuff around. Without training? Um, well, like, just I can't carry stuff, but uh, not that kind of stuff. There, really clever players sometimes drop the chandelier on a guard. I think, yeah, this one found the patrol plan and changed it up. All the guards are walking around around the lake, which is a pretty maverick move, to be honest. Here's what we need to do. The player's going to come down the corridor and call the lift. Once the doors open and they get inside, they're going to press the down button. When that happens, all you have to do is pull the lever on this side. This lift door is supposed to bounce itself on this lift. Because it's just a hangover from rehearsals that nobody got around to replacing. Besides, it's fine, it's fine. We've got plenty of time. And act, no, wait, here he comes, here he comes. Shh, now, eyes front, eyes front, eyes front. At least they're on their way now. Actually, they're going to be very busy with the vault. You could start playing in the grounds. We just need to prep some pyrotechnics for the escape sequence, and then you're good to go. There's a lift to the pyro workshop up the stairs. I get the feeling this might actually be a nice concept for a uh, two-player game, where one player has to... You just, uh, hurry along? ...has to, uh, well, one player goes for the game, but the other one uh, works in the background to make to you know, have things work. That's okay, I can understand that. Hmm. I think there are some games well, like really that, but... It's not, it's not an unpleasant hmm. lift. Really, it's a, it's a good lift. I think there's some entrance. familiar to that idea. Like, I think there's a game, a game mode called Death Run on some games that sort of like, if you're one of the people that die, you instead are the one that uh, helps activate the traps. Yeah, I know of that mode, but that wouldn't really be what I uh, what I meant. Like, it, it's a bit of a co-op game with people not being re. Oh, you, oh my God, are you okay? Do you, do you do you still have your ankles? Are they are they in the correct uh, orientation? Okay, you're okay. You do. That's great. I'm so I'm oh God, I'm so sorry about that. I really. This is well. This is the weather room, isn't it? Uh, right. Okay, listen. Since we can't reach the lift of Pyro, the only way back into the game is through is through a department called High Concept Miscellaneous Interactions. Oh, I don't want to have to do this to you. There's usually a lot of training involved, but I'll talk you through it. You'll be fine. We'll be fine. You brace yourself. Is to miscellaneous interactions? This is the department that controls. Well, it controls a lot of things. Locks and unlocked doors, interior lights, smoke machines, telephone calls, actor cues, laser lights, vault guards, tranquilizer dart strength, you know, that kind of thing. But it's all just done with numbers. I, I don't know why. And uh, and usually the operators got this big, um, you know, usually they know what they're doing. But I've got a manual here. I think we'll get through it. All right, in order to get started, you're going to want to press the number four. Uh, go right I tried ahead, to think of games four. that you spoke of that... Um, what, what do you say? Worry, I think they are. Just worry. not remembering that's them fine. at the moment. Uh, I think that's normal. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. 
don't think that light's a, a bad sign. Uh, five, seven, two, one, two, one. Ah! Okay, so what we did there, it turns out, was the wrong thing. Could you, um, could you press nine and then four and then, and then one? Did we, oh, I think we restarted. Was that the, the DOS right, startup okay, noise? Oh, maybe? I think what, what, what did you just, that could have been very important. What did you, why did you, ah, I, I, it's all right. Okay, I found the right instructions. All right, I need you to press the number nine. Okay, well let's let's just assume that we've got nine sorted, right? Okay, <laughs> five, two, one, four, four. Wait, no, hit start to cancel that, and then that's two. Um, six, just ignore that. That's fine, right? Seven, two, left. One, four. Two. Oh Christ! Please pick up the phone, please, and talk to them this time. How can you? How can you? Oh come on! <laughs> Em Emerald is haunted? And nine is broken. Wait, there's a very bad alarm. So I'm gonna need you to just do a 180 right down the stairs, please, right down. Probably I'd probably go a bit further. Move! D no you clip lasers vault. Right <laughs> yeah, we are fucking this game up quite bad. Uh, how are they they're sneaking, climbing, and on fire? Okay, we can't actually okay, run. Here's good. Here's good. Great. Yeah. Steam make gates player. Okay, back, back, come on, back up the stairs. A bit faster than that, please. Just a bit, you know, just a bit faster. Yeah, I think I, like, I heard that the line Don't before. Worry. Don't worry. Or when, please do and, uh, worry a bit. In that context, at least. Seven, four, then asterisk. Is there a fire below us right now? Is oh. <laughs> fire? Oh, there is, isn't there? Oops. I don't think we really have any of this from a jet fuel. Kind of funny, I usually don't know. Please don't do what I think you're about to Seriously, do. that tone. Please don't do it. Pick up the phone and... Incoming call from it. security team. Like a normal person. Like a normal person. No! <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you doing that on purpose or...? That's the only interaction. Uh, I, I, like I said, I, I was not a fan of the steam. Can, and, but on the plate, I, I when I thought used more steam more and more, I... I started to like it. Turned off, right? I found a way to activate the fail-safe lever to the left of the. Oh no, wait! On the right of the keypad, right, not left. Don't do the left. Uh, okay. When the downpour panel lights up, I'm going to need you to pull it. When it lights up, not before. Any moment now. Okay, so we need to pull this. Oop! And it's not going to light up then. <laughs> oh uh, dear. We're kind of boned. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> did we did we do it? I think we did it. The players left the mansion. I think I think we did it. I don't think it's supposed to still be raining, but you know, hey, come back down the stairs. Ah, fail safe mer lever means You're done okay. here. You don't need to spend any more time in this room. You can ah, and it's back up. <laughs> I can't, I find this game so much more tolerable than some of the other games I've seen. This is it. You're done, sister. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You really helped out. Standard Parable is fun, made it through but you. some of the games that he took inspiration from them were sometimes Here we are just again. outright so unbearable. Here's how it's gonna work. You go in there, just give me a moment, I will bring the lights up, and Dr. Langstock, the tiger, and the terribly cursed emerald. Enjoy it. Thank you so much. Achievement unlocked, begin the heist. <laughs> Another player? You've got to be kidding me. This, I can't, I can't do this again. Okay, this is really awkward. The fact of the matter is, wait, hang on, where are you going? Right, so, look, I need to talk to Okay, that's the lighting room. You need to talk Okay, fine, this is wildlife trap. No, hang on, this is, that, that's a, hang on, there's a tiger in there. There's a tiger in there. <laughs> oh, no, don't, don't pull that. Wait, no, oh. Oh, uh, the tiger's getting unleashed on us, huh, isn't it? 
Yep. <laughs> uh, well, we got the tiger. <laughs> Game. Yeah. And right on time, almost. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Let's see. Is there anything hidden in here? The beta testers, Columbia University Orchestra, the subreddits. This was a complimentary game by Crows, 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 made with love by a small team. If you enjoyed the game, visit our website. Something for infrequent but excellent something. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, that. M huh? What? What is that going? Okay, that's just going to open up the browser to the their website. But uh, yeah, that was a fun little. Wait. They're the guys behind Stanley Parable. Wait, what? Yeah, Stanley Parable is apparently one of their games as well. Uh, let's see, what else is in here? Okay, it's place where it wasn't as painful like the other Parable inspired games were. I think there's a Rick and Morty game that's alright, but you also get no name. Then there's another game that is not Rick and Morty, but made by the same team as Rick and Morty. And that one was weird, and I did some laughs, but also so time I just felt uneasy from it. The Accounting Plus game? That might be the one, yeah. yeah that's also by them. <laughs> oh, gods. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, that's it for Something Sunday, then. We, yeah, we have a little bit of time left, but that's not enough for this next game. So, yeah, Dark... As as bland as uh, yeah as it might get better, maybe I'll take a more of a look to it. But I I'm not sure if we'll if we'll stream that again. Uh, this new afternoon was nice. It's nice that the <clears throat> it's not nice that they offer emulation for old games like that because a lot of games are starting to get lost to time. Because, well, the systems that they are made on just stop. There's a finite number of them. And some of the games for them are just rare. And yeah. yeah, so emulation is the most, is the best way to preserving games like that. And, well, letting people play it without having to like, pay like 500 uh, bucks for an old console and the game. Yeah, some consoles have a surprisingly long con uh, lifespan. You say, can I buy a light console that is survive long? But there is a limit to how long you can have to survive. Yeah, simple wear and tear that eventually just wears it down. Yeah. It's actually impressive that those old systems, uh, if cared for, uh, still work in these times. I, I actually have to check if some of these behind me actually still work or not, or if they're just. Uh, Decoration by now. Yeah, but this will tear, but also depending on how much you move around with them. Like if, if you've been taking get good care of them, not throwing them around, they will last a long time. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Doctor Langeskov, the tiger, and the terribly cursed <laughs> diamond or no emerald, a ruined heist. Just okay. That was just a fun little distraction. There, nothing. It's just where they probably had some fun with it. Yeah. <laughs> but for now then, this has been another Something Sunday. Uh, next time we'll be continuing with Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Ooh. Yeah, that, that is going to be a lot of fun. It's probably going to take a while, but it'll probably be a lot more entertaining for yeah. people watching and for us. Yeah, if it's going to be long, it better be good. That's the thing. You don't make, for example, you don't make a three-hour movie and have it all. <laughs> but, yeah. Until then, until then, everyone. Yep. Be safe, folks. <laughs>